Hello, it's me, Jessica Viva. Today I'm doing my brutally honest opinion on every Genshin Impact character that is playable. I'm not going to be doing bitches that we can't play yet because that would take a year and a half. Remember, these characters are not real people and this is an opinionated video. So don't get upset if I don't like your fave. You can hate one of my faves too and we can still get along. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we're starting with Albedo. So I overall do like this character, but overall I don't really feel like he deserves to have the 5 star title. He is definitely more fitted for the support role, and I do like the idea of having 5 star supports, but I feel like I've had better supports from 4 star characters, and it feels like his, his skills is underwhelming compared to what other 4 stars can do to support your team. You can use him as a DPS as well, but I personally wouldn't. But I overall like this character because I like alchemy, former alchemist things. I love Albedo Elric. So next we have Aloy who is from that game that I can't remember the name of. I'm overall very indifferent towards this character. I don't really care about her design. Her playstyle is adequate and I don't really care for her personality. She's just kind of there for me. So I'm very indifferent towards her but I know you can get numbers with like her because you can get good numbers with anyone but I don't know. Just meh. Just a very meh character to me. Okay, so we have the first character we ever got, Amber. I don't hate this character. I do like this character a little bit because she does have a cute design. That being said, her design is very basic and nothing really stands out about it. So that's why I didn't have her design rating at a higher. But in terms of her playstyle, I don't think she's got the worst playstyle out of the three characters that you get at the start. I think she's very capable of being a good support. I don't really understand why people say her playstyle is the worst when, you know... Her E is a taunting character when other five stars, Arataki, Ito, Ganyu, they all have taunts as well. No one complains about them. And then for her burst, it's it's an adequate burst. She applies fire and if you get some good ice reactions there, you can do some pretty decent damage with her. So I've never really understood why people say Amber's playstyle is the worst. I think it's adequate and I don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is. Next, we have Arataki Ito, who I use all the time. He's one of my mains, probably my most used main at the moment. I love this character. The only reason why he doesn't have a 9 out of 10 on his design is because I feel like his model, in-game model, is kind of holding him back. He looks way different. I think they could have used a different body type on him. And I think the model could be overall refined, but when I look at his splash up, that would be a 10 out of 10. But for the model, could be improved so I give it a 9 out of 10. And his playstyle rating is sick. It's really easy to build him because he needs to stack defense. That makes him super OP. You know, it's always nice getting artifacts that you can actually use because a lot of people don't want the defense artifacts, but Ito makes them usable. So that's sick. Next up is Barbara. I like her design. I feel like it is a bit basic and it doesn't really stand out compared to other characters, but she has a pretty safe design. She's a cute girl. And I really like her attacks. Her attacks all got like little rainbows coming out of them and I love rainbows. So I overall really like Barbara. I think she's probably one of the most capable healers in the game. The only reason why I don't use her more than I would be doing is because I have Kokomi, who I do believe is the best healer in the game. But I do use Barbara as a second healer when it's like things like the Spiral Abyss, that kind of thing. So she is pretty capable and she's probably one of the best healers in the game up next to Kokomi. I feel like she should be a 5 star healer rather than Chi Chi, but whatever. So next we have Miss Captain Beidou who I actually love. I love her design, I love her personality, everything about her in terms of lore, personality, looks perfect. And then when it comes to her playstyle, I'm very indifferent towards it. The reason why I don't play her is because I don't really like her playstyle. I don't really like timing a counter because I'm just too small brain to play her the way she was supposed to be played. I'm not good at doing counters on the exact hit. I'd rather just come in there and smash everything up. But I do respect Beidou players because they have a lot more patience than me. So it's pretty cool. Next is Chong Yoon. I really, really like Chong Yoon. His design rating is an 8 out of 10 for me because even though it isn't super complex or like super standout-ish, I think it's a pretty safe design. He is cute overall and his design is pretty adequate for what he is supposed to be. And I put his playstyle rating at a 7 purely because I think it could just be refined to be a little bit better. Like if you could use it with bow characters, that would be 
absolutely perfect. I think that's kind of the missing link for me. It's just that it would be so great if you could use a bow character in that ice circle as well. It kind of limits you to having only sword or polearm characters in it. Or claymore. Forgot about that one. Alright, so next is Diluc. I actually do like Diluc as a character. I like his arc and I like his like part in the story. The only thing that puts me off is his damn character model. I can't take it seriously. Why is it so ugly? Oh my god, Mihoyo, please fix his fucking face. What the hell? He looks so good in splash art, in the Genshin Impact manga, in fan art, and then the model be looking like that. It just puts me off playing him. I don't want to play an ugly, weird model. I want to play this sexy, fiery, red-headed man. But he's nowhere to be seen. Only this, this guy. <laughs> Next up is Diona. I don't really like this character at all. That's kind of it. I think her design rating is objectively cute. Um, and her playstyle is objectively good. I know she's a capable healer and a capable shield and you can stack HP on her, which would make her a great support. But I find her personality very annoying and I don't like her. So it's a boot from me. I know people kind of like her personality trait because it's kind of like a tsundere kind of trope. But... It just feels like it's always at a 10. It feels like there's no in between. It's always a 10 and you don't really have that much character development or room for character development when it's always at a 10. And it's either one, oh, I'm sad or 10, I'm angry. There's nothing in between. It's just very boring to me and her voice is annoying. So I don't like that either. Coming off from that, we have a character that I think kind of has a similar kind of personality trope to Diona, but does it better. With Eula, even though she is kind of constantly grumpy or putting up a guard, you'll see those times where she falters or she has fun or she's protective, that kind of thing. It may be because she's a five star and she's had more of a chance to shine than Diona, but I feel like Eula's personality has a lot more to explore than Diona's kind of one note personality. So that's kind of where I'm coming from with that. In terms of Eula's playstyle, I'm not really a fan of the physical damage thing. Um, she it has an adequate playstyle. You can get big numbers with her, but for me, her playstyle isn't, you know, that great. I'm not really big on physical damage that much. It's good to have, but I'd rather just play a different character. So we have Fischl next. I actually do like Fischl. I didn't really like her at the start because I didn't like her model, but when I came to see more art of her and her splash art or like just Genshin official art of Fischl, I actually do enjoy her character design a lot more. I don't really care for her playstyle that much. I really like having the bird turret because I love birds, but her ultimate is just kind of disappointing to me. I do understand that she's a four star, so she is pretty adequate for a four star. That's why she doesn't have like a lower rating on her playstyle. But I wish her like her ultimate burst was just a little bit different. It feels like her E is a lot more useful than her burst, which is a bit of a shame. But I overall like her and I like her bird, so yeah. Next up is Ganyu. I use this character quite a lot and I guess I like this character. I guess I would call it more indifference. I just find her personality to be a bit one notey or a bit boring. So I'm not really that much of a fan. Um, I really don't care for her design either. Something just seems off about it and I don't know what it is. It might be the fact that her hair looks so weird at the back and it's not even tied up. I think a nice little hair tie would be a lot more satisfying for me to see. Overall, she probably has one of the best playstyles in the game. I use her as a cryo applicator to support my fire DPSs such as Hutel. So she overall has a really good playstyle. I honestly only got her because I wanted her skills. I don't really care for her that much as a character and I don't like her design. But I recognise that she's probably got one of the best playstyles in the game. So I had to get her. I love Goru. Have I told you guys how much I love Goru? Because I just love Goru. I see him like my son. I just want to give him head pats. He's just adorable. I just love him and I want him to have the world and he just makes me feel so wholesome. In terms of his playstyle, I really like what he can do as a support, as someone who uses Zhongli and Arataki Ito constantly in the same team. It's really, really nice having that extra support. With my Goru, I can literally get Ito doing like 100 to 150k just off of his E. And that's with no food buffs, no Bennett buffs, no Mona buffs. That's just Goru. People kind of hit on Goru for being a niche support. But there are a lot of characters who actually support, you know, different characters of the same element. So I don't really understand why Goru gets that much flack 
for being a support for a specific element because I think he's great at what he does. There are so many characters that need defense boosting like Shinyan, Noel, Arataki Ito. There are a lot of characters who need defense buff because their main start is defense. So he's very useful. People are just salty because he's not a main DPS. Next up is Hu Tao. I've literally got nothing but positive things to say about Hu Tao. She's so easy to build. She's so cute. She's adorable. Her attacks are so good. Her lore is great. Everything about her is just a 10 out of 10. She's easy to build. She's gorgeous. She's cute. She's spooky. She's so cute. I love Hu Tao so much. There's actually nothing negative to say about this character apart from maybe her stance. You're like, don't heal me. Don't heal me. Don't heal me. Like, shut up, girl. Shut up. Next, we have Jean. I like Jean overall, I guess. I just think she's a very adequate character. She does what she's supposed to do. She's a decent healer. I'm just very, like, whatever about her. I think it's because I think there are better healers and better looking characters. She's just very average and adequate to me. She's good at what she does. She's not ugly looking. And she's not a bad person. So it's just a very adequate character. Next up is Kazuha, and Kazuha is one of those supports I use like a DPS because honestly, even though he's supposed to be a support, I can still get some really good numbers from him and I love him. I loved his whole arc in the Inazuma storyline, which I won't spoil, but it was so amazing. I really like his character depth. I like his whole character development and his skills are really, really good and pretty. So Kazuha is such a good character. So next we have Kaya. So what I will say is that I genuinely really like his character and I like his design. He's sexy. What else is there to say about that? When it comes to his playstyle, I just find it boring. Yeah, I mean, he could be a good support to apply cryo onto enemies that are close by, but there are so many better people who could do that. And I just find his playstyle very boring and you can tell that he was one of the first characters introduced into the game because they want you to get better characters than him. So next is Ayaka. I overall don't hate her playstyle. I think you can tell that she was one of the earlier developed five stars because it doesn't seem as impressive as other five stars bursts. But it's still a pretty capable burst and she is a good DPS with the capability to, you know, carry an entire team. That being said, can't stand her hair. And I don't really have a thing against the Hime cut, which is what you would call it. I like a lot of characters outside of Genshin and in Genshin with the Hime cut. But with her, it just looks off and it's the model. I'm positive it's her game model because when I see her in fan art for her birthday or Valentine's Day or whatever, she's gorgeous. She looks amazing in fan art. And then I see her character and I'm like, what is with this big ass forehead? I don't like it. It just looks weird and awkward to me. And I think I would enjoy her model a lot more if it just looked better. Next up is Kuching. I'm very indifferent towards this character because I don't think her design is ugly. And I don't think her playstyle is bad. She's just very like whatever to me. Like I feel like I would see her design in a Yandere dev video. Where he shows off like Yandere Chan. Like um, murdering their best friend or whatever. It's, she just feels basic to me. That's it. Nothing bad about her. Nothing good about her. Just basic. But you know not a bad character. And next we have Klee. I use Klee quite often and I really like her character. I think she's adorable and her design is really cute. The reason why her playstyle isn't higher is because I think it also needs some honing in on it. The fact that when you throw, you know, bombs, it can't really hit up to a certain height because they don't auto kind of hone in like it would with, say, Yanfei's or Ningguang's or Lisa's. They just kind of drop to the ground and they just fall to the ground, which I understand because they are bombs. But it just makes it a bit frustrating when you're doing certain bosses or certain characters such as those spectres. You're, it's really hard to play clear with those spectres because the attacks miss unless the spectres are lower or if you go on a higher ground. Then the other thing as well is that her combo for her basic attack is a bit slow. I know a lot of people like do this thing on their keyboard where they can like cancel the attack animations to make her basic attack go faster but I just don't have the mental energy or the big brain energy to do that it's hard for me so it's just a bit frustrating the other thing that I think would also make her better as well is if you used her ult you'd be allowed to switch out to other characters that would be so much more useful because you can only have Klee on the field when she's using her burst otherwise it'll disappear but imagine how good that would be if you pair it up 
with someone like Child, there'll be loads of vaporized reactions, or even Ganyu. It'll be very useful. Next up is Kujo Sara. I like her design. I think it's pretty. Do I think it's the best design? No, but she's a pretty lady, so there's that. When it comes to her playstyle, the thing is for me is that her attack buffs are very fast, and you have to quickly swap out to the character, and it just seems a bit tedious to me. So I would prefer if her buffing capabilities gave you a bit more time because it does feel kind of rushed to me. I would have to switch out character straight away. And as someone who doesn't have the best reflexes, it's a bit hard to play her with her buffs. I'd rather just use Bennett's ult, which gives me a lot more time to switch out to the characters I want to switch out to. Next up is Lisa, who I think is gorgeous. I love her lore, her personality and her design. The reason why her playstyle isn't any higher is because while it's not the most unique playstyle, it's still pretty adequate. I will compare her to Amber. I do feel that Amber and Lisa both have some pretty adequate gaming styles and I don't think they're as bad as everyone puts them out to be. Out of the three four stars that you get at the start of the game, I feel like Amber and Lisa are put down the most when it comes to their playstyle and Kaya is like, Kaya's the only good three four star in the And I'm just like, girl, no. Like, you're just saying that because he's sexy at this point. I personally think that Lisa and Amber can provide better support than Kaya ever could. And y'all can hate me if you want, but, you know, kiss my ass. Kaya is sexy, but he will not be in my team. Next up is Miss Mona. I love her character as well. I would say her design rating is 10 out of 10 for her new skin. Uh, I would say 9 out of 10 for her old one. But overall, I think Mona is a solid character, solid support, good lore, and she's a really capable buffer. So overall, 10 out of 10 on everything. Nothing bad to really say about her, apart from the fact that her fans are sometimes a bit creepy. Next up is Mommy. I mean, Mommy, I mean, Ningguang. I really like her. She's so sexy. Her design rating, 10 out of 10. Her personality, 10 out of 10. I just love powerful women, okay? I love her. She slays so much. But that being said... I'm not that big on her play style just because it doesn't really suit the way that I like to play but I've seen my friends use her really well. I know one of my buddies Earl uses her and he uses her really really well so I know that she's a good character to use and she's overall an adequate character and she's sexy so. Next up is Noelle. I don't use this character. I don't plan to. Her design rating I know is objectively good. I don't personally like it but I know her play style is also objectively good. You won't catch me playing it. I don't really like her as a character, but I know that she has good shield and healing capabilities, but her personality annoys me and it's just very one note to me and it just annoys me. I think I would like her more if I just saw her snap and get really, really angry. But I, when I was playing her character quest, that four star character quest that you can do of all the different routes, I found myself very bored because it just felt all one note to me. But, you know, she's trying her best, I guess. And now I'm probably going to come off as the biggest hypocrite because I know Chi Chi is always one note, but that's kind of her thing as a zombie. She's lifeless. So I don't really mind that Chi Chi is very one note because that's her whole trope and it's entertaining. She comes off one note and very deadpan in an entertaining way. But, you know, I probably come off as a hypocrite and I guess I am. You can call me a hypocrite, I don't mind. I like Chi Chi. I don't think she deserves to be a five star character. I think her healing capabilities are not as good as Barbara or Kokomi's. So I don't really believe she is on five star capability. I think Barbara is so much more useful than her and she's a free character. I think Barbara has so much more healing capability and potential than Chi Chi. I don't think Chi Chi should be a five star. She feels like a four star character to me. But she is a healer, and if you don't have any other healer to go to, I guess you can use Chi Chi, but wouldn't be my choice. I always say, the best thing about Scaramouche is Scaramouche's sexy mother. I love the Raiden Shogun. I love everything about her. Her design, her playstyle, her lore, literally every single thing about the Raiden Shogun I love. People always say her design is too basic, and maybe it is. But it looks good, so I don't care. I love her. I think the reason why, even though she does have an objectively basic design, the reason why she's kind of above there for other people with basic designs for me is because her personality and lore just make her so much more interesting. So even though her design isn't groundbreaking, her playstyle, her boob sword, hello, sword out of the titties, 
everything about her kind of law and her play style makes her more interesting. So even though her design isn't the most wow factor, so unique, you can give it a bypass because her personality and her law and her play style just make up for it. So it just makes her an even better character. With Razor, I feel like his design could be better since he kind of grew up, you know, out in the sticks with the wolves, uh, away from humanity. I think I would like to see a little bit more edge, a little bit more grit in his design. Because if you looked at him, you wouldn't really think that he lived out with wolves for his entire life. You would think that he was a little bit of an edgier character. But would I say a feral child? No, probably not. Overall, his playstyle is good for what he does. He has DPS potential and... For a four star, he's got a great play style. You can't really complain about it. it um, his personality can be a bit one note sometimes, but he does have that moments where there is growth or change or he's vulnerable or he's angry. So there is still that little bit of a, a change there. Sometimes it can be a bit one note though. Next is Rosaria. The conflicting thing to me is that I actually like Rosaria's personality and I like the idea of Rosaria. Like an angry nun that doesn't even want to be there, that drinks all day. Like, that is such a good character idea and, it, like, a good, like, trope or troop or however you say it. I like the concept of this character. I like what she sounds like on paper. But then her design and play style are just a bit boring for me. I would probably rather use Kaya over her. That being said, I don't know. She's got an interesting back plot about how she was raised by rogues. Now she's an angry nun. I like her overall character arc and her backstory but her design and play style just fall short for me i don't like her design don't like her play style but it's annoying because i like the concept of the character and the backstory of the character i love watching her interact with barbara i just wish she didn't look like that oh whatever next up is miss kokomi i think she's personally one of the most beautiful characters in the game i love every single bit of her design i love her entire story arc how she's a priestess but she's amazing at military strategy she's just so cool and she's so gorgeous but so smart and i just love powerful women i may have repeated myself a couple times there but I just love her and people hate on her so much because they can't make those videos where they do Bennett, Sucros, Mona, Kokomi hitting one million in one single hit against Pyro Regisvine. You can't make that fucking video with her. you so upset. Boo hoo hoo. There's not a character that agrees to the meta or whatever it goes. She's designed to be a healer. So let her be a healer. She's good at what she does. Best healer in the game. And she's cute. Deal with it. Next is Sayu. I do like this character for some of their abilities, such as their passive, which makes the crystal flies not run away from you. And I do like using her when I farm because she goes really fast. That being said, don't really like anything else. I actually, her tail is pretty cute. Um, but I don't know. When I played her story arc for the different quests... I didn't really care for her, felt very one note to me again. There was a little bit of development here and there sprinkled into her story quests there, but it wasn't enough for me to like her. I just found her quest a bit boring. I really like Shun her. I didn't at first because her design, like her splash art that was previewed on the Genshin Impact Twitter, didn't look good to me. I thought her design was ugly, but then when I saw her game model, I was like, oh wait, I actually quite like this character. And then her story quest came and I'm like, oh wait, I love this character, another powerful lady. Yes, please. I love the fact that she was raised by a bird because I love birds. The only kind of criticism I have is that I do kind of feel skeptical at the fact that she is a five star just because I've seen better support capabilities from four stars like Bennett, Goru, uh, whoever. And she's a very niche support. The fact that you can only use her on ice characters when you can argue that other four star characters can heal all sorts of different characters of different elements and they're four stars. So I do feel kind of skeptical of the fact she was given the five star role. But when you look at her lore, I guess you could say she could be, you know, I overall like her character. She's pretty, she's a queen and she's cool. Overall, I like her. Next up is Sucrose. I actually do kind of enjoy playing her. She is good for a four star character and she does provide the buffs that you can need for one of those clickbait videos where you get 1 million damage. Overall, her design is pretty cute. 
Her play style is good. She's great at grouping enemies. Her personality, however, is a bit annoying. I always use this phrase for this video, but it's a bit one note to me, but not to the point where I will hate her. Just a bit annoying, but overall a good character to play as and a nice design. So next up is Child or Tortellini or Tartalaglia or however you say it. I quite like Child. I think he's got a really good play style. That being said, I don't know how happy I would be with his playstyle if I didn't have him at C6, which basically grants him immunity to having the cooldowns on his E, so he's a constant kind of water applicator or whatever you call it. So I don't know if I would enjoy his playstyle as much if he wasn't C6. But that being said, I really like his character story and his arc. I like him, I like his personality. The only thing is, is that his design is a little bit basic, but you know, doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. He's handsome, he's adequate for what he looks like, and I think his personality makes him look more handsome. If he just had a bland personality, his looks would kind of get drawn in with that blandness. Kind of like how I said with Shogun, but since his character arc and his personality are so interesting, you kind of forget that his design is a little bit more basic compared to others. Coming on from what I said, I do feel like Toma kind of falls into the bracket of, well, he's objectively handsome, his character design is a bit basic and his personality is that he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy that loves animals and dogs and he's just a nice guy overall. He's not a bad guy. It is a bit boring. He is a good guy. I like him overall, but I do think he kind of comes off as bland. He's bread and butter. He's nice to have. He's got a decent play style with decent sport capabilities and he's handsome. Is he unique in any sort of way? Is his design unique? He's a handsome man, let's face it. But, you know, he's a nice guy and he's got some decent capabilities. So, overall, I like him. So, we have the Travellers next. There's not really much I can say about the Travellers in terms of personality and lore because they're always silent. Overall, their designs are cute. I'm not too much of a fan of Lumine's hair. I like Lumine's dress and her overall kind of outfit. I wish her hair was just a little bit different. I like both of their designs and their play styles are adequate. I do believe that, you know, they could be better. I feel like Mihoyo sometimes makes the characters you start out with not as good as the five stars or the four stars because they want you to spend money and get other characters. So I do feel like their abilities are just kind of stand-in ones until you get a better character. But, you know, they are capable and they can do what they do. Any character can make good numbers. It just depends how you build them and what you like. So it's they're just kind of there for me. You know, they don't have ugly designs. They don't really have that much of a personality yet because they're always silent. You can get those like quips of personality from cutscenes or those automated responses that you can choose between. But overall, there's not really much you can say. It's because they've been purposefully designed to be you so you can put your character into them it's like a self-insert thing do you know what i mean i love venti he's so cute he's one of those people like goru i see him like my son i just want him to have the world i believe he is precious and adorable he's so cute and when it comes to his design i love it when it comes to his play style i love it support capabilities are perfect especially with the right weapons he can increase elemental mastery he can group all these enemies together and he can make some pretty good reactions. So he's overall a really good player to the team. I will just say one thing, that isn't Venti's fault. But I hate, 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 hate the amount of low-key homophobia that goes on because of Venti. I always see those clickbait titles that say, Venti makes me feel things that I shouldn't as a man. And that sentence in itself is so homophobic. It really, really puts me off being a part of the Genshin community, seeing how much Venti is sexualized with a homophobic comment. It's very disgusting to me and I'm so sick of seeing it. Let Venti be Venti without sexualizing him or making homophobic comments that you shouldn't. Because even though you're technically admitting that he looks good to you, saying that it's something that a man shouldn't feel is just homophobic. And I'm so fucking sick of people saying those kind of things about people like Venti or whoever the newest character is. It's very irritating and I hate to see it. Next we have Shang Ling. I don't really use her but I understand she has good capability as a support or a DPS. Her design is overall cute. The reason why it's not higher is because I'm not that much of a fan of her hairstyle 
but it's not necessarily bad it's just not my favorite hairstyle but her outfit is overall cute i like guoba i loved her little um event that we had with guoba it was really fun and i overall like her as a character i just don't use her because she's just not for me but she's not a bad character at all next we have xiao i love xiao his capabilities of a dps are amazing and even though he is one of the earlier characters i still think he matches up to the main dps's of today sometimes i find with older genshin characters that were designed to be dps kind of fall through compared to newer characters but with xiao i feel like he still perfectly stands capable compared to other dps's that were made more recently the only thing i just wish to see more of in the future is just more of a playable story with him that kind of digs a little bit deeper into him because if you don't read his backstory or have him to listen to his voice lines i feel like he can come off as pretty one note which is a shame because he definitely is a complex character with layers but sometimes it just feels like we haven't got to see that yet uh i know we've had the lantern right and he's appeared in other liwa events but it just feels like there could be so much more done with his character that mihoyo is kind of lacking and i feel like you could just do so much more with him in terms of the story Next we have Xingqiu, who I think is one of the best 4-star supports in the game. I think he's very capable of being one of the best supports. The only thing that I would say about him that is negative is that sometimes I just wish he would just shut up. Like, drop the act and please act normal for once. But I understand he's a prince or a lord or whatever he is, so he's got to be prim and proper. But I'd love to just see him, like, I don't know, kind of let loose a bit. That'd be pretty cool. But I understand that's part of his character, but sometimes it just gets a bit annoying. His design is cute. It's not the best design, but it is definitely an adequate design. He looks good. Definitely not ugly. Overall, I feel like his character could be a little bit more refined, but I wouldn't be angry if it stayed the same. I really like Shin Yan's designs. My favourite thing about her is the spikes that come out of her hair and on her shoulders. I don't know if you've seen how I dress in real life, but if there aren't spikes, I feel weird. I love spikes. I love spiky collars. I love spiky shoes. All of my friends at work always joke about these spiky shoes that I always wear, saying that I'm going to knock them out with them one day. So I really like Shin Yan's overall design and aesthetic. Her play style is very meh to me. Again, she's stacked defense, which is good because you can put your defense artifacts onto her. I just don't find her that very fun to play with, but I do like her as a character. The only criticism I have is that her voice acting is so incredibly annoying and makes the character one note. And this is just for the English version. I don't know what it's like for the other languages. I personally play in English because I'm very bad at reading subtitles, so I need it in English. That being said, the 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 voice acting for Shinyan in English is just not it for me. And the thing is, this isn't a personal attack against the voice actor because I know that Mihoyo were the ones making this decision at the end of the day. If they didn't want her doing an accent, they would have told her to stop. Like, they would have changed it if they didn't like it, kind of like how they did with Barbara's old voice lines. They changed those as well because it didn't fit the character. And I don't necessarily think it's a case of me disliking a Southern American accent, which is not true. I think it's more the case of the fact that it's more a caricature of a Southern American accent. I'm not American, and I never will be. I don't know that much about the American accent, but it just feels very put on. I think if she was to have a Southern accent, just more of an accurate one, maybe done by an actual Southerner or whatever, I think I would probably like it more. But for this one, it feels a bit too cartoony. It feels too much like Sandy Cheeks from Spongebob. It feels over-exaggerated, and I don't think anyone in Southern America or, like... Not Southern America, because that's like Mexico, like, no. But like South, the, the, the Southern States of America. Oh my God, I'm so smart, guys. What the hell? <laughs> Moving on, we have Yai Miko, who I think is perfect and gorgeous in every way. I love her design. She's so pretty. I love her personality. I love how cunning and smart and quick she is. She's so cool. Her design is sick. I recently got her as well to play with and I really like her play style. It's fun. I feel like she could be both a support and a DPS just from how I've been playing her. She's very flexible as a character and I appreciate that. Next is Yoimiya. I have nothing negative to say about Yoimiya. I love her character. I love her design. I love her backstory. I love her attacks. I think she's overall a very good support and or DPS. I think she can fit into both pretty well, especially with her ult. You can switch out to another character. So I think she's a good DPS or a support. Next we have Yanfei. 
I like her character design, I like her personality and I like her backstory. Her overall playstyle I'm not a fan with because it just heavily relies on her being on the field all the time and having to always charge up those charge attacks, which is just a bit tedious to me. But it's whatever, I think she's a good DPS for people who don't have a better one, so there's that. Next up is Yunjin. I like her character and I loved her like performance bit with the opera. That was so sick. That was such a cool cut scene. I love that. She's really cool. She's pretty. I feel like I haven't really got to know her yet because I haven't done her story quest so I don't have that much to say about her personality but I really liked her opera bit. I think she's pretty. There is something I would want to change about her design that I just don't know what it is. There's just one thing I think could need be tweaking, but I don't know what it is that's stopping me from giving her a full 10 marks out of 10 on her design. But overall, I like her as a character. I'm, again, like with Beidou, I'm not really a fan of waiting for a counter and doing all of that and being technical with it. So I don't play as her, but I think she's cool and I like the little dance move she does after she does like an attack, which is cool. Last but not least, we have Zhongli. I love Zhongli. Everything about him is great. I love the fact that he just whittles on about the most unimportant things. He's just a grandpa that just loves talking about everything and won't shut up about it. It's like, daddy, fuck me. Shut up, but like, you know, fuck me. Also, I find it sexy that he's just so smart about everything, even though nobody be listening. It's sexy that he's intelligent because intelligent men, ooh, chef's kiss. Then also his play style is just so good. I feel like he's the best support in the game just because of how his shield is unbreakable. Bitches won't even need to heal that much if you have him as a shield. I know we have the rift tones now or whatever, but he is one of the main reasons why I can't play this game properly because his shield never breaks. So I love him so much. He's so fit and my first five star. So special, special place in my heart. And that is every playable character so far. If you don't like any of my opinions, feel free to hate my opinions. It's your choice. But remember, it's just a game. It's not that deep. If we dislike the same characters, cool. If you like a character that I dislike, that's fine as well. It's okay, baby. We can still be friends. If you want to join my Discord server, feel free. The link is in my bio. If you want to talk to me on any of my socials, everything is in the description. If you've got through this video, well done. Um, I would give you a cookie, but I'm bad at cooking, so I don't think you'd want that. I'm gonna go, though. Bye!